hopefully you're inspired. Someone believed in you. Who cares about the 50 people who don't? It was the one that did. At Alice, our mission is to help small businesses launch and grow. And we have a mission to lower the fail rate of all businesses and particularly lean into women, people of color, our US veterans, and who we call the new majority. So one of the hardest things for me um, scaling Alice was raising our Series A. It was certainly for me the most trying time in the business. We probably had over 50 meetings. And when you hear a no 50 some odd times, I, it, it wears on you. It's like water on rock. I don't care how tough you are or how much you believe in your company. And, and folks you know, are poking holes in, in what is your complete and total passion. The most demoralizing, and I use that word with intent, meaning is when you are discounted before you open your mouth. And you think, why did I just drive three hours or fly here? And sometimes that happens because you're a female. Sometimes it happens because your CEO is Latina. Sometimes they see that you have a really strong mission that they don't agree with. I never forget walking to a Sand Hill Road venture capital firm in the second the gentleman walks in, he goes to our lead engineer, who's a white male. He said, sir, I'm excited to meet you. And he said, you know, I'm, tell me more about your company. He said, actually, these are my bosses. I'm okay with no's if they're based on my financial model or the business, but not on perception. And so those are tough, those are tough. The greatest pitch I ever had was actually over the phone. And we kinda, I kinda hit a frustration mark uh, meeting with different venture firms who just weren't getting it. Uh, and I remember having a conversation with someone I really care about and they said, who do you respect? Who would you want on your team versus the other way around that you're pitching to be on someone else's team? And, and it, was, it was John Cena and he is the head of Silicon Valley Bank Capital. He's someone I respect. And I called him and it was kind of a Hail Mary. And I said, John, I just think we would be a fit. I think we have the same values and we could do something here. And it was silent for a second. I thought, oh God, did I go too far? And he, he said, I'm just thinking, this is exciting. This is exciting. Come in tomorrow. We had trust already established there. He got the business model. He was incredibly excited. And, and now we have this you know, beautiful relationship. Sometimes you'll pit folks over and over and you're trying to force them to get in and they just don't get in. And maybe, maybe you just drop back and be like, that's not happening but sometimes it'll just click and you know it's there. But I encourage folks to sometimes just drop back and think, who would I, or what organization would I just kill to work with? And who would really strategically be a fit and go in there, yes, prepared, and yes, with spreadsheets and your financials, but with your heart and say, we should do this together. And that was a real turning port for me. And you come out the other side and maybe you need a little break. I went fishing for a week, but then, Hopefully you're inspired. I mean, we're fired up. We're gonna show them that the new majority of business owners are the future and they're profitable and they're badass.